So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, I caved in, I purchased more wigs. However, these wigs was only £10, so I couldn't resist, I couldn't help myself. So let's do a haul of them, shall we? So I purchased all of these wigs with my own money from the brand How's Your Head Wigs. I will leave their website linked down below. I've purchased many a wig from them in the past, so I'll leave some like previous hauls from their wigs down below. But honestly, they make the best drag wigs I could possibly like think of. They have an increased density over like most other brands and obviously are very affordable. I did purchase all of these wigs from the clearance section on their website and they had a code of gotta go, which then made the clearance stuff 50% off so normally they were £20 in the clearance sale and then they went down to £10 per wig. I do also have an affiliate code which is code Luna Rose which will save you 10% off kind of their general range of stuff but um girl definitely check out their clearance thing. I'm trying to get this video out before it all sells out and um yeah let's try in some wigs shall we? So the first wig that I picked up from How's Your Head Wigs is the hard front wig I'm currently wearing. I can't for the life of me like remember what the name of it is so I'll pop it up on screen as well as link it down below. Again I got all of these wigs from the clearance section so I'm hoping there's some left for you guys. If not use code Luna Rose and you can save 10% off the regular price of the wigs which I think is only like £40-£50 anyway so still a complete bargain. But this wig is a really pretty like pastel blue curly wig as well as like a nice shadow root to it. One thing that I really appreciate about How's Your Head wigs is that they offer these wigs as well as like the hard front version that I'm currently wearing in a lace front version with the root or like without the root. So what you could do is purchase a wig like this, purchase the lace front version, tie that up into like a nice ponytail and use this as like the ponytail stuffer piece and you've got like a really decent full like updo in like no time at all for literally no money for like how much drag wigs are but um yeah, this wig for £10, even if I paid £40, I would be impressed with it. Like I said, she is a hard front wig, so she doesn't actually have like a lace front like hairline. But honestly, I don't think it looks that bad because the wig has like perma teasing to it. It kind of like, I don't know, disguises the fact that it's a hard front wig. But obviously, if that does bother you, all you need to do is pull some hair to the front, like trim it off and you can create like a fringe in the wig to like disguise the edges. But um. Yeah, so far for £10 I'm living for this wig and you'll have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And let's try on wig number two, shall we? Ooh, that was a good tongue pop. Okay, so please excuse the whole like bald Voldemort wig head going on, but I thought I'd show you the internal structure of what the hard front wigs look like. So like I said, it is a hard front wig, meaning that there is no like lace material, there is no like individually like tied hairs to create the illusion of like a natural looking hairline. However, with the like permities and the shadow root, honestly, I don't think it looks that bad or like as hard fronty as a lot of hard front wigs do. But on the front of the hairline, you do have two little internal combs, meaning that you can tuck it into your actual hairline and like have a couple of your strands coming out to try and like blend it if you match the shadow root or just tuck it into your like wig cap and it'll keep it like keep it it'll keep it nice and secure to your head at the back it does have the tag that says give head wigs which i believe was their like former brand name and now they are how's your head wigs or at least they are on instagram and that's what i have in my head of the brand as well as the two like adjustable tightening straps so even though it is like a hard front wig without like a fringe you can nicely secure it to your head and honestly i would feel like this is quite secure with a few like bobby pins extra in the back to um yeah keep it onto my head and that is basically just what the inside looks like. Let's try on wig number two, shall we? And then this is what wig number two looks like fresh out of the bag. Obviously, I've not done any styling or anything to her. And I did also pick her up from the clearance section using code gotta go to get the wig for £10. I think normally they retail for like £40 for the hard front wigs, which is still honestly a complete bargain. But um, £10 for this wig is, um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. But again, she is like a shadow rooted hard front wig. And one thing I want to know about How's Your Head wigs is the shadow rooting 
excuse my boy hairline, the shadow ribbon actually goes like all the way around the wig. So depending on how you like style it or part it, you will actually see the shadow root. And it's not like what a lot of like wig companies do where they literally will just put like a black band in the front piece. And then the rest of it is just like up to your imagination of the rooting. So I truly appreciate that it is actually like a true root around the entire wig but she is this like darker shadow root into like a nice pretty pink into an orange into like a pastel yellow which is honestly a very unique like color story and definitely something that i don't own in my wig collection already but um yeah let me know what you think of this wig she has like more of a loose wave to her as opposed to the ringlet curl like the previous wig that i picked up but again i can't really remember what their names are i literally just went through and added like one of each thing in the clearance section into my basket so um yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of this combo and like color story. One thing I really want to like shout out How's Your Head Wigs for is that they do do custom styling and you can buy like pre-styled wigs. All what I would recommend doing is purchasing like the lace front version of this wig and then purchasing one of the clearance like hard front wigs of like the exact same color story. Tie that up into like a nice updo, pop this on and you'll have the most gorgeous full like drag wig for literally no money compared to like a styled gorgeous wig. So um yeah let me know what you think of this wig down below and let's try on wig number three girl. See she is actually quite secure to say like I haven't actually like pinned it in or anything. She's staying on and looks pretty. And I don't think you can really like see the root apart from like on the side. But I think if I actually like pinned it in at the side, you wouldn't see my natural hair come through. And um, it's worth £10 just to have a wig to like throw around. Right, let's try on wig number three. <laughs> And then this is what wig number three looks like fresh out of the bag. Obviously I haven't like styled her or anything or like trimmed the front hair to stop it getting stuck into my lip gloss. But this is what wig number three looks like. Let me know what you think of her in the comment section down below. And you might be thinking, girl, didn't you start this like haul in a blue wig? The first wig I picked up is like a pastel blue and this one is a lot more of like a vibrant like true aqua kind of blue but honestly i absolutely love this kind of like color tone and like color story it's one of my favorite actual like shades of blue like this kind of brighter like turquoisey but like i said i did pick this up from the clearance section like the previous wigs so this was only 10 pounds and i think regularly they retail for like 40 pounds and she is the same kind of style of like a shadow darker root into the wig and the shadow root does go all the way around so um <sighs> I'm out of breath. I ran downstairs to grab this wig from the bag since I forgot I purchased three. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of this third wig. Honestly, this is probably... Oh, no, actually, I do, do like the pink and yellow one. This one's probably my second favourite out of the wigs that I purchased. And um, yeah, it gives me like full-on mermaid vibes. I think if I was going to like style this in the future, I would flip this like hair bit over, tease this so it kind of lays a little bit further back and then chop some of these pieces shorter so it kind of like frames my face and doesn't um, end up in my lip gloss. Curl these together and like stick a headpiece here, but um, I think she's so pretty. So yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of the third wig and um, this is the final wig of my little How Is Your Head 10 pound wig haul. Again, I purchased all of these from the clearance section using code gotta go to get it 50% off. And if you don't purchase something from the clearance section and just from their regular like wig collection, they do also do like wefts and like lace fronts and like wig styling tools and the works of it all. You can use code Luna Rose to save 10% off your order. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little wig haul and try on. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you want me to utilize these wigs for like future transformations, future looks, or what you think I can do to like customize it and give me that full on like drag fantasy I'm after since this is like a base wig unstyled with the perma tees to it. It's honestly really pretty and I really don't think the hard front wigs that they sell look like a hard front wig as much as like most hard front wigs do since I'm fairly sure I could get away with like tying this up into like a loose pony and my hairline doesn't look abysmal but um yeah you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below and um, yeah if you enjoyed this video like i said give it a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the girl next door with something more i'm trying to upload as often as i can before i start my halloween series in october so i'm trying to do daily it might be every other day all throughout the end of august through september and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Bye.
honestly this blue color is like giving me my full like mermaid life bye <laughs>